In my quest to be more productive, I am so intrigued to see what a Tabis 8 Ultra or in fact any Tabis 8 can bring to the table. And no, I'm not talking about benchmarks here. I'm talking about real life usage like you and I would want to see, right? Oh, by the way, welcome back, my beautiful people of the internet. In addition, I really like Windows 11. So let's see what this unique combination can do for us. Look, I find this just as painful sometimes to ask you, but if you like this sort of content right here, why not consider subscribing? <laughs> Thank you. So I tried two different ways to get Windows 11 to work with the Tab S8 Ultra. By the way, it works for any Tab S8 regardless. Let me start with what Microsoft introduced last year, Windows 365, not Office, no, no, not Office 365, Windows 365, the same idea two different things. Your entire Windows 11 operating system sits in the cloud and is accessible on your Tab S8 Ultra. It is like Elon Musk placed your PC in a SpaceX rocket, put it up into space and stopped one level before in the clouds and said, here you go. But no, no, joking aside, how does it work? Sign up process for Windows 365 to have it running on your Tab S8 Ultra is, is super easy. Microsoft did an awesome job right here. It's not like any other cluster cloud console. It's all pre-configured for you. If you still don't know, you can answer some basic questions and it will guide you through this. It took me literally five minutes to get it all set up and all running. Once done, you get your beloved Tab S8 Plus or Ultra and basically open up any browser. I did try all browsers available and for me, Samsung Internet was the one that was most stable and worked well. You can also use it if you like in DeX mode. It makes no difference though in terms of performance. The only difference is that you have more options available when it comes to running um, different applications at the same time. Open up your browser, log into your console and open up Windows 365 on your Tab S8 Ultra. You now have your entire PC, Windows 11, on your tablet. Just like that. Voila. There are a couple of settings you need to know. When you open this up for the first time, it will be in low resolution mode. Word of caution here. But the good news is you can change this right here to have a higher or better resolution. You can also tick boxes for your printer, microphone and clipboard to work with this. And we all know having the pain of different keyboards, you can also enable this here, different options for different keyboards with all kind of different signs, Japanese, Chinese, all of it is available right here. And now you can start working And the beauty of this, it is based in the cloud. When you close Windows on any other machine and you open it up on your Tab S8 Ultra, it will basically pick up where you left off, meaning you can have an Excel sheet open and alter any task or any cells in there. You just close it, you just shut it down, leave it, don't do anything, you open it up here, it will basically pick up just right there where you left it off. Now, in terms of performance, it is okay. There is room for improvement, I gotta say. And Microsoft heavily advertises this with the iPad. So I checked my iPad, the M1, and it's basically the same performance. There is no difference whatsoever between the Tab S8 Ultra and the iPad. It is a subscription-based service, but Microsoft offers free trials in different countries. So check it out so you can basically see for yourself how well this works. However, if you have a solid PC at home and you want to have quick access via your Tab S8 Plus or Ultra, you can use remote connection. Let me show you. I am using Google's Chrome remote desktop extension and it was literally two minutes to set up for both devices. This way you can connect your PC via your Tab S8. There are different tools out there, but this is just for ease of use, basically. There's nothing else you put in, IP address, it just basically connect to each other. Once you open it up, it will show the available PCs and I'm currently testing the Surface Studio, which I really like. Let's connect and you now have access to your PC. You can work remotely from here with your Tab S8 Ultra or any other Tab S8 you have available. Now, the difference with this option is that your PC at home or wherever it is needs to be on and it needs to be connected via Wi-Fi. So it needs to be online in order to be accessed, whereby option number one is the opposite. You don't need to have anything on. It basically sits in a cloud and is accessible anywhere at any time. And of course, you need a stable connection. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. See you next time. Peace out.